Hey guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a blessed week and a great start to the day. I wanted to talk to you about the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord has been taking me to Jeremiah for the past week or so, and it's just so um, right on time, the message that he's been sharing to me. And last week we talked about how so many people don't want to hear the truth of God. They rather hear a lie. They rather walk in the ways of the world and the philosophies of the world than trust in God. And it's so disheartening at times. And, you know, I can understand how Jeremiah felt. Jeremiah felt so despised. He felt lowly. He felt like, here I am. I have a word from the Lord. Yet nobody has ears to hear. I'm coming to God's people, not the world, to warn them. And they are just so busy wanting to be like the world, the church wanting to be just like the world, that there's no distinction between God's people and, and the world. And, you know, we see that so many people are double-minded and they're so, they'll say one thing and then they'll do another. And that's another thing the Lord has just placed on my heart. Who is who, who really is who they say they are these days? It's like the walking dead. I kid you not. People say one thing and then they do another thing and it's just like, who is the real zombie, right? Like who is the mole, like playing whack-a-mole around? And it's just, it can be very disheartening and frustrating, but that's why you have to remember that you are on the narrow path. Not everybody's going to make it. And it's so sad because we're like our father. We wish no one to perish. So we're out here sharing the good news. We're living the, the word of God. We're witnessing, but it, it hurts our hearts when it's not received. And uh, people just decide to go and do their own thing. But we don't give up. We continue to pray. But I just feel like Jeremiah, sometimes you feel such a burden and, and you weep and you feel despised and you feel, does anybody get it? Does anybody have ears to hear and a heart to receive? But nothing is new under the sun. You know, Jeremiah went to a rebellious people. God sent him to a rebellious people. And a people who wouldn't have ears to hear. But it had to be done. You see, God gives us all warnings. He gives us red flags. He, all, he gives us the opportunity. We all must have the opportunity to seek the living God, to know him. And... You know, so when we get to judgment day, there will be no excuses about why you didn't have, you didn't receive Christ or why you didn't um, know him because we all will have an opportunity. He sends his messengers, he sends his guides, he sends his um, people to warn you to, to, hey, wake up, time is drawing near, stop playing games. And so I don't know, I think, this journey can sometimes be lonely. You feel like, I don't know, you feel like the burden can be heavy sometimes to do what is right. But we know that that is just a fleeting moment. We know those moments don't last forever. Um, but we do, when you walk this walk, it's not always an easy, easy road to take, especially when everybody's going right and you're going, you know, everybody's going left and you're going right. It can be lonely and Jeremiah cried he was known as the weeping prophet because he often felt such despair he often felt alone he often felt like did anybody get it but the work of the Lord is priceless and you have to just keep going you have to stir yourself like David says you have to learn to encourage yourself and I had to do that on Sunday Sunday I went for a walk I had to get out the house. I just had to have a talk with God. I had to just let him pour into my spirit and refresh me. And on the walk, he, I walked by a magnolia tree. I was headed towards some magnolia trees and he said, grab a flower. So I grabbed one off of the tree and I smelled it and it was so pleasing and it just uplifted my spirits right away. And then he said, I want you to go look up what a magnolia represents. I said, okay. And it just astounded me, you all. Magnolias represent beauty, 
purity, endurance, and joy. And I thought, wow, the Lord even speaks to us through nature. And it's just such a beautiful thing to know the Lord and to put your trust in Him because He'll even encourage you in the smallest of ways. But I don't know, it's like it, it's the smallest things, but they're so big, they're so huge, right? They make such a huge impact. So, yeah, the magnolia tree. The magnolia tree has so much spiritual symbolism and meaning. And I would have never known that had not the Lord told me to investigate it. That's why I love walking with the Lord. Because he's going to open your heart and mind to things you'd never even think to do on your own or think to know. But, yeah. So, I just want you all to be encouraged. No, this road is not easy. Especially when everybody is doing the opposite of what you know the Word of God is commanding you to do. But stay strong. We're not alone. You're not alone. Sometimes we just have to remember and remind ourselves of that because you can think like Elijah, you're the only one going through something, but it isn't so. So keep your head up. Keep seeking the Lord. Keep walking with him day by day and he will strengthen you. Remember, the strength of the Lord is your joy. So you all take care. I love you all. Be blessed. And I pray that um, you walk with your head lifted up, knowing that you're a child of God. Stand strong, stand firm, and see the vindication, see the victory of the Lord. Bye, guys.